Hey everyone, so Lick Friday 289, and this week we've got another kind of hybrid picking thing, um, and with a jam track attached to it at the end as well, where if you want the full version, you can visit my Patreon page, which is linked down below. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a nice lick, it's very kind of repetitive, but that's where the hybrid picking comes into it and allows you to actually learn that hybrid picking style. So let's get on with that lick. <laughs> So, as you can tell, hybrid picking is kind of like the format of this um, lick, if you like. Um, it's got a nice little slidey thing, so there's a few techniques in this to take on board, and there's uh, that very quick, short, sharp burst of a slide. There's also the pre-bend, where you're just hitting it on the top of the bend and letting it down. Um, so it's kind of technique fueled in many ways, but it's predominantly sort of focused on that hybrid picking, which is the main focus of this. So if you want the tab, which is recommended, go to dansguitar.com and you can download the PDF, which is all free. You don't need to buy or subscribe or sign up to any emails and stuff. It's just all free content on there, so you feel free to have a browse. Um, and also, if you want the jamming track, go to patreon.com forward slash Dan's page and uh, you'll find a whole load of jamming tracks on there. I can't remember how many there are now, probably about 20 maybe-ish. Um, so it's definitely a whole album's worth, but they're all free to, not free, but they're all for you to download if you subscribe to that uh, $5 tier system. Now the lick, when you're playing it, it's very important to keep it slow and keep it even. And also remember to play it along with that backing track at the end of this video, because that backing track itself, it's one of those sort of like areas where um, if you don't have the track it's easy to sort of like flow through it in your own time your own timing with the track on board it kind of allows you to make mistakes but correct mistakes as you go through as well because it forces mistakes out but also forces you to correct them um, so as long as that the track is at the right tempo for you now the beauty of youtube is that you can go on that little gear cog icon which i can't remember where it is up or down um, and you can select the speed so you can actually play it back at half speed if you need or quarter speed or three quarter speed or whatever um, and it doesn't change the pitch so it allows you to kind of phrase train the way you play it so that's a really cool feature um, let's get on with that breakdown before I start going on too much. Before I say social medias, come and follow me. That would be really cool and come along and say hi. Anyway, please share, subscribe, like and hit that bell button because it helps push this video along plus my channel. See you for the breakdown. The end once again. So the website and the Patreon page are linked up there and you can find the free stuff on the website and the Patreon page you can get the jamming track in full. But coming up in just a second is the smaller version, the unmixed version if you like, of the uh, jamming track for you guys just to have a little snippet along with and play along with just to see how well you get on. If you do want to subscribe to the Patreon system and please click that link and then you will find all the tier systems there where you'll find exclusive content each month, every two weeks, you know, you, there's all, always things being uploaded onto there. Um, so that is all I need to say really about this video and I will see you all soon. But remember, jamming track coming up now and that is it, see you later. Right, so it's mainly based around that repetitive lick of... Now when I start the lick, I don't know why I do this, but for some reason I pick with my plectrum first on that 13th fret of the second string. And then the rest of the times that I play it, so the other eight times I play it, I'm using my middle finger for the, hy for the hybrid picking. So you can play this any way you want. You can pick it, you can hybrid pick it, and it's entirely up to you. You can use just fingers. and Entirely your choice, but each sound or each technique that you use will give you a different sound when you do finally get to play this well. Um, so what we've got to start off with 
is a rep repeating lick of basically 13 pulling off to the 10 on that second string and then the 12. Now as I just said you can choose to pick it or you can choose to hybrid or you can choose to just use your fingers. Now, as you could probably tell by that, each one of those sounds give you a, gives you a slightly different tone or sort of flavour to it. Um, so, your choice really. So you play that nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then you've got, which is a very, very, very quick slide up, slide down from the 12 to the 13 on the third string. So. It's, like that, it's almost like a flinch or a sneeze. There we go. Um, so you slide up, slide down, and then you're pulling off to the 10. So, so you should end up with that type thing. Now that little lick itself is one that you could use all through your own playing, um, as with many of these licks anyway, but it's really cool because it's just a very short, sharp burst of um, sort of slide and pull off, which gives you that one, two, three, four, uh, yeah, four. There we go. Four sort of separate sections very quickly in um, quick succession, and breaks up what could be a, that sort of lick, but more of a fluent. And you'll see pl players doing that a, a lot, like loads. Um, anyway, so after you've done that. Got that which is after the 10 on the third third string should i say you've got the 12 on the uh fourth string so that's the d note back to the 10 on the third string 12 on the third string so so after you've done your short sharp burst which is basically 12 uh, 13 back to the 12 10 pull off 12 on the fourth string Back to the 10 on the 3rd string, you've got a bend from the 12th fret, then whilst that's still ringing at the top, bring in the 13th fret on that 2nd string, no bend, so you're bending, and then you're picking basically the 12th fret again where you've already got it at the top of the bend, and bringing it down. So. And then you've got that at the end of it, so you bend up, Pick the 13, pick the 12 again, let that down, pull off to the 10, to the 12 on the 4th string, 10 on the 3rd, and then 12 on the 3rd string as well. So, and then finishing with a bend on that 13th fret, 2nd string, full tone. Adding that vibrato into it, and then you can do whatever you like from that point in. But that is your lick. Let's play it slow for you now. So, three, four. 